Okay, so the first thing you need to do is go over to your phone and type in Canvas. It comes up a couple different ways. There's a student version. That's the one we want to go for. So then you go over and you download it. Once you download it, then you add it in. Then there's a little thing that says QR login. So this is where there's some steps on here, or you can just go over to your Canvas app, log in, and then under accounts, you click on accounts, and then QR for mobile login. You take the Canvas app on your phone and you go over and it activates the camera. It's gonna ask for permission for the camera. And then you scan the login that will eventually pop up once Canvas decides. That's the QR login. Um, we scanned it and then it's gonna say this just cause it's kind of connecting to all the things that Canvas has. And that's a pretty big platform. And I think one or two, maybe thousand people are using it at this point right now. And then it gets added in and then you're inside the Canvas app at that point. So you can go over here to calendar you can see the to-do list you can see notifications you can even see your inbox for your student students learning which is kind of neat so when one of the the one of the little hiccups that we just kind of were working through um because we wanted to be able to print out the assignment so that our child could kind of go through that process um and it, it seemed to work really well um we went over to to the to-do to list, which is where the assignments are. Um, well, that's where uh, they're being put right now. Um, then you go into that assignment, and this is all the assignments that are for his class. So we were kind of going through the counting as 10, counting as fives, and then we have a worksheet, which is there. So when we went over to that worksheet, we wanted to print that off. Um, it opens up inside of OneDrive. Um, and we, we wanted to send that over to our printer. It was having an issue going over to our printer. So our workaround for that was we wanted to load it into the actual phone to be sent out. So once you put that little load button, then you go over here to this secondary load and it allows you to go to a bunch of different things. So we can go over and we can send it over to me, you can send it over to a bunch of different people. Um, if you can text message it or you can email it, if your computer has an email option, that's right there for you. Um, you can go over and send it all different kinds of crazy ways. Um, and what we were doing is, I think I just clicked on something else on there, um, is we can send it over as files and come up with an option of print right there. So once it's inside of the web browser, you go over here and you press print. If that's not something that is working correctly, one of the things that we ran into is printing directly from that was causing some problems with our printer. So instead of just going from print, we went over and we wanted to actually add it over into another program to be printed. So you can go over and you can add it into your notes if you have an iPhone or if you have like an actual PDF reader, um, that's probably a good option too. And then you go over here and you would add it in as a physical note and then that notes program has a much better job at printing off onto your printer. Um, works out pretty well. Um, there's lots of hiccups. We're all working through all those crazy things all together. So um, 